have you ever thought about why some places produce great companies over and over again? The greatest institutions in the world, the IITs, MIT, Stanford, they were all built on the same idea. Give builders the access to right people and incredible things will happen. So imagine having access to technologists who formerly led AI teams at Ola Electric, Razorpay, Google, Nvidia and more who are now working to solve some of the toughest open problems in autonomy, robotics, cognition and consumer empowerment. That is exactly what is happening here at Scalar School of Technology's Innovation Lab. This is where some of the India's most ambitious deep tech founders build their companies. And the crazy part, they are right here on the campus. Student can ask questions, get feedback or work on real problems side by side with them. Tonight, we are at a networking dinner where founders of startups incubated at SST are meeting students who are also building their own startups. Ideas, conversation and connections all in one room. Let's start with XPCs, founded by Srikanth and Puneet. Srikanth has previously been the director of AI at Ola while Puneet has worked with the Little Nuclear Power Plant at Bhaba Atomic Research Center and both bring immense experience to the Scalers campus. At XPCs, they are building humanoid robots and AI systems for healthcare, logistics and more. Uh, so imagine the world right where all your physical needs that you don't want to do yourself is taken care of automatically by robots, uh, specifically humanoids. right? So that's what we are building at XPCs AI three products, what we are calling as Handy. The second one, we, we just uh, named it Homey, which will be a you know, companion. And the third product that we're building is called Dexterex, which is our hand. So what we are building is humanoid technology. So whatever kind of intelligence we are interacting these days, it is more digital. What we are trying to do is build systems which can manipulate the real world. And our first embodiment will be a humanoid. Next, we have Neo Sapiens co-founded by Aryan and Dhananjay. Neo Sapiens is building India's first AI native wearables, a pendant that acts as your second brain. Most of your life happens via conversations and there is no trace of that in your digital footprint as such. You know who you are as a person and what is important to you lies in the conversations. So we started building this device. For, for example, a like family bad ke mutual fund discuss kar rahi hai, right? So many decisions have been taken, so many, you know, um, challenges have been reported during that conversation. Maybe you can leverage the data to form a trading strategy or even a mutual fund strategy or even an investment strategy to personalize it for the users. So what we are building again is the memory layer side of things wherein ChatGPT can be another form of distribution service for us. So that is what we are building at the moment. Next, we have Divyam and Dheeraj from Task Harmony. They are building AI agents that run global logistics operations 24-7. Divyam has over 13 years of software experience in companies like Google, Microsoft and Uber, while Dheeraj previously worked for Adobe and Oyo. Logistics is at the underbelly of all sorts of commerce. It's uh, highly unstructured, lots of moving variables. Automating it uh, beyond a cert certain extent was not possible. But now with LLMs, uh, there could be needle mover kind of a thing which can happen across different functions starting from sales to support to accounting. Next, let's meet Gaurav, founder of Maximum. Previously, Gaurav has worked in the product at top companies like Amazon, Flipkart and Razorpay. And now he's solving one of the AI's biggest challenges, giving AI memory. Each of you would be easily using two to three LLMs, uh, X, OpenAI folks and so on. Not sure if you guys got a chance to look at the OpenAI report a couple of days back. It, it actually shows what percentage of people actually use it for learning, for reading, for writing and many such purposes. But you would have all noticed when you try to do these objectives, you cannot just pick off the output and use it as is because it does not have your full context. We can't possibly build that infinite context for you, but can we get as close as possible? Right, so we are embarking on that journey with our first product called Witty, uh, helping you gather all your context from across LLMs, from different tools that you use, from different uh, apps that you use, and build on top of it. Then there is Gahan AI. Meet the founders, Pallab, Udalok, and Sohini. Pallab has worked as the Associate Director of Autonomous Driving at Ola Electric, and also led predict teams 
at Nvidia and Mercedes Benz. They have been recognized by NASCOM and International Innovation Awards. And with Gahan AI, they are building an all weather, all terrain autonomy systems for vehicles starting in India. If there is something, a problem that exists, then we must take action to do something about it. And me, Udalok, and Sohini, we have grown looking at mines, our families and friends have been part of mine, understood the problem firsthand. And because of our work in the industry on autonomous driving, it kind of made sense for us to solve that problem. And that's what we are trying to do over here. Honda Uncle is the next, an AI-powered personal finance platform making advice unbiased and accessible to everyone. Founded by the one and only Mr. Ravi Handa, one of the most sought after names in Indian education sector. Founder of Handa Ka Funda, which was later acquired by an academy. You know, large pop that India has, you know, all of us keep spending monies. Take a wild guess, what's the number of such authorized people in India who are allowed to make any kind of investment advisory to, to people like us? Couple of years back, this number used to be 1500. It went down to 1000. Currently, it's about 500. What that leads to is for people like us, you, me, couple of years when you start earning and earning a lot of money, dollars, you don't have a good place to know, you know, where should I save? How should I invest? What should I do with this money? To make a solution, a tech solution, which is available to the masses at an extremely low cost. And that's what we are building. You know, the right, honest advice at the fingertips. Any and all such use cases will be covered by the app that we are building. It is hard to explain what it feels like being in a room like this. These companies could be anywhere in Silicon Valley, Bangalore, or overseas R&D centers, but they are here and students can interact with them every day. Access is what makes a difference. It is the difference between hearing about innovation and actually being a part of it. Kela Innovation Lab is creating something that doesn't really exist anywhere else in India. A place where students and founders build side by side, shaping the future together. Tonight was just one dinner, one evening of conversations. But it is a glimpse of what is possible when opportunity meets the access. And if this is what college looks like now, Imagine what is coming next.